Hey guys, it's still pretty cold here. We're well below freezing every night, but we are growing in the house and it's doing great. I'm so happy about how well this is doing and we will be having stuff to harvest here pretty quick. Let's go check it out. Okay, this is what we've got going on so far. Um, <clears throat> Back here we have Grand Rapids leaf lettuce that is two weeks old. Tomato plants that's three weeks old. Um, these are some more lettuces. We have uh, oak leaf, some tango red. Looks like I maybe got one tango red seed in with the oak leaf. The celery was doing really well. I've got a little bit of like tip burn. So I don't know if that is because it was in water before I put it in the hydroponic solution or not. But these are three week old tomatoes. This one here, I mean, it's got a nice stalk on it. It's growing nice and big. It's about ready to go out to the garage. I'm gonna have to find the place to put this. But look at the root growth. That's three weeks. Tons of roots. Nice looking plant so far. I'm really surprised. That's for three weeks. Let's look at the lettuce here. Uh, just a little bit of roots. Enough to get down into the solution. But this is all looking really well. And then up here we have one more tomato and then some uh, bib butterhead lettuce. Oh, yeah, you can see the air roots, lots of roots in the air getting, and then just a couple going down into the hydroponic solution. So that's two week old lettuce. Everything's two weeks old except for the tomatoes. They are three weeks. The only thing I'm not having great luck with is the Swiss chard. This is the pink chard. So I only had two out of three germinate, and this one's kind of hanging over. I don't know what's going on with it. That one looks a little better. And then I've got one of the rainbow chard that germinated of the three. And that one, like I said, it that one looks happy. Just didn't get germination on the other one, so. Overall, very pleased. It's looking really well. The lettuce is very happy. And I'm going to have to, I think, transplant these tomatoes because they're touching the grow lights now. And they need a bigger place to grow because we're still quite a ways off from moving outside. So I might try some self-wicking buckets maybe in the garage with some grow lights and see if I can get these tomatoes to last until they can go outside. Other than that, we're just going to keep going on with the lettuces here. We're going to start harvesting and replanting so we have a constant supply. But overall, I'm very, very happy with this setup so far. I bought another 10 foot stick of the gutter material so I can make some more of these grow systems here and fill up the rest of the shelves in the little greenhouse. So far, looking good. Thank you guys so much for watching this and keep following along as we grow more.